Ooh, man. Turn this down. Yeah, that's some good stuff right there. <clears throat> We're talking blind illusion. Turn it down just a little bit. Hi guys, uh, we made it. Um, this is uh, Dead Theater episode four, and uh, we were in a little bit of hot water last week. Uh, we got copyright restricted. Apparently, you can't be dead too. Let me turn that shit down. <clears throat> Apparently, you can't be uh, dead theater YouTube without YouTube clashing down on you. So we're gonna. I, I thought about changing the name to uh, Dead Theater uh, YT, and um, I just after a while I thought that name kind of um, kind of sucked. And uh, so we're gonna go with something a little different. Uh, this will be Dead Theater TV from now on. Dead Theater TV, kind of like MTV, but um, well, we don't suck. Uh, <laughs> From what? If you ask me, we don't suck. Um, so we're gonna get into it this week. Let me turn this down a little bit. Yeah. Alright. So I am, uh, uh, one ugly motherfucker. But I see the beauty in you. Uh, you guys have supported me uh, for this Dead Theater YouTube thing the last couple of weeks. Uh, we've blown up on TikTok. Which is blown up faster than, um, it's blown up faster than Twitter. Um, Twitter is very hard to get likes. Uh, a lot of those people are blue check people. Um, I'm up to 51 on the Twitter and, uh, yeah. And then the TikTok, I believe we've just rounded up about 53, 54. So I haven't checked it yet. Uh, but, um, yeah, hey, uh, good luck to you, and, uh, let's start the show, okay? Uh, whenever I feel blue and I don't want to do this fucking shit no more, um, I get pulled in by Stop, Drop, and Read Me, our sister group. I want to give a shout out to those people over there, that group, Stop, Drop, and Read Me. Um, you guys, uh, have been very supportive, um of Dead Theater, and, uh, we appreciate you. Um, Stop, Drop, and Read Me is, uh, headed by, uh, our wonderful writer, Brittany Lee, who won Dead Theater's 2022 Writer of the Year Awards. Good, good job on that, Brittany. Um, and, um, I really can't thank her enough. Um, Brittany was there at the time when, let me put this down. Damn wallet out. I don't know why the hell that's in my back pocket. Uh, they were there when I wanted to quit the first time. I, I think it was after the podcast had failed. Um, and so Brittany was, is a real lightning rod for encouragement. And I thank her every day, you know. Um, me and Brits are uh, in talks to work on a project together in the future. And, you know, that's really what it's about is meeting other authors and working together, you know, at a time when authors are kind of flooded in the market and that there's really no kind of way to get them an audience, uh, we can work together and, um, on, you know, a number of things. We can work on projects together. We can, uh, fuel our ideas. We can even get the word out about our product, uh, for each other. And I am happy to do that for free for Brittany Lee and Stop, Drop, and Read Me at any day of the week. I, I have no problem with that. So, I mean, it's about just hooking together and getting the word out about each other's products, you know. Um, it's good to read them. So, um, but yeah, Stop, Drop, and Read Me. Uh, wonderful uh, sister group. I advise you to check it out. Uh, it's free. And Brittany's doing some wonderful, wonderful things with that group. Yeah, so, all right, let's move on here. Why will Willow ever get two stars? Um, I, I, I want to give it two stars, but...
but it doesn't reach that point. And it's kind of like every episode kind of sinks down worse <laughs> than it was the previous episode. Um, I know, I think it's Steven, somebody who writes this, and I don't know, like, you, buddy, you didn't see or hear about the 20 to 30 woke, trashy movies that got bombed, you know, last year, and shows, I mean, come on, guy, you're pushing something that is dead in the water, uh, stop it, and please don't involve any of your dirty work with any other franchise that I love, you know, uh, you just ruined it just like Kevin Smith ruined He-Man. So, uh, please, um, hold the brakes and, uh, you know, kind of come up with your own shows and characters. Can you do that for us? Okay, so the next thing, uh, we opened up <clears throat> Fayetteville Dead Theater. Uh, Fayetteville Dead Theater was something I left for dead because I couldn't figure out how to get the reviews, um, onto them from the reviews that I was doing. It was going to be twice the work um, that I didn't really have time for. Uh, so I figured out a way to do Fayetteville Dead Theater. I brought it back. Um, if you're in Fayetteville and um, you see this show, this is uh, Fayetteville, North Carolina, born baby. So uh, yeah, come on to our show. We'll do a podcast. And uh, speaking of which, um, I'm looking for anybody who wants to come on the show and speak some words about their projects. Um, you know, speak your mind, you want to come on the show, it's in Fayetteville, it's free. Um, so, uh, hit me up on my messenger if you want to do that. Um, I'll be dropping ads for that, um, <clears throat> a little later in the, this week. Uh, but we are looking for another personality to come on to this show and kind of lift it up a little bit. Um, I always love to hear from you, and, uh, if you want to make YouTube, uh, come on the show, so... All right, uh, let's see what else we got here. Uh, let's see, project starting up. Okay, so this is for all you um, authors who run into this problem, and <clears throat> we talked about this problem last week, uh, me and Brittany. Um, when you have too many projects to fully start another one, you know, uh, I currently have about three, four projects ahead of me, and I know uh, to get to work on this thing with uh, Brittany and uh, stop, drop, and read me, I'm going to have to push those projects aside and get it done, uh, but I, I put it on the back burner as well <clears throat> because I'm working on my uh, new book, The Red Eye, coming out soon, and uh, I'm looking at my other book, um, it it's actually the fourth Red Eye book that I need to finish. Um, so uh, the Red Eye series is a four book series, just like Dead Theater is going to be a, a four book series. And once I get done with the Red Eye, then I'm going full force and I'm going to uh, make the final Dead Theater book, the final show. Um, if anybody gives a shit, you know, message me up or, you know, um, show you care. So, all right. <clears throat> so let's go on. Uh, well, um, honestly, I didn't have anything else to really say about that, um, but I will, um, say this. I got hit up with, <clears throat> why is Willow on the Dead Theater if it's a horror show, or a horror kind of Facebook kind of website? Well, uh, I kind of said back, uh, well, you know, <clears throat> we're Dead Theater, but we cover things from, like, Marvel to DC. I was going to say Disney, but I didn't get a chance to, you know, put out that Disney, well, you know, Marvel, you know, Disney's attached to it. So, um, why do we do it? Uh, because, uh, and as I, as I explained back, Willow 1988, 87 was, uh, something that was, uh, in my heart. I love that movie. I watched it like every single day. Um, great story, great storyline, funny moments, uh, great actors, great uh, animation. I mean, all around, Willow is one of those classic movies that you have to have in your set, you know, whether regardless if you're horror or not. Uh, to me, it has some horror elements, 
uh, the troll becomes a giant dragon, you know, and, and comes out of nowhere. Um, I invite you to watch this movie. <clears throat> and then, if you'd like to, and this is up to you, go watch that God Horrible series. And you tell me, it, you know, what is missing and what is wrong between the original and the, the current one. And, uh, you know, you tell me. You tell me what's wrong. Tell me, man. Tell me. So... Um, <clears throat> all right, so, uh, that, I think that's about it, uh, for this week. Um, got this sweet Carolina Rebellion shirt. Uh, I don't know if you know the story. Uh, we went to Carolina Rebellion around, I believe it was 2016. And, um, <clears throat> we get there late and it's, um, it's Megadeth on the stage and it, the, the whole crowd is moshing and, you know, swirling around and shit. It's it's probably like my third or fourth mosh pit at this moment that I've been to and survived. But this one was kind of out of control. And, uh, you know, before I knew it, <clears throat> a big dude with a melon fucking head hits me right in the ribs. Right here. Out of nowhere. I mean, point blank big ass uh, Samwise head hits me under the rib cage and it busts my rib. I'm in the middle of a mosh pit and I get spun around. I look over and a dude has been thrown from the top of the crowd surf. Uh, there's no fucking buddy there to catch him. And I caught that motherfucker. <laughs> I caught him. It was just instinct, and I caught him, and I put him to the ground, and he thanked me, and then he jumped off, and then I just remembered my fucking ribs right here. Pop, 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 pop. I had broken my ribs at the Carolina fucking rebellion. Yeah, and so, I don't know. It was rough. Uh, I had to drink a lot. <laughs> Uh, the, the socks in my boots wore out. I was bleeding from my feet. We had to walk 10 fucking miles to the car and 10 fucking miles back. <clears throat> hey, but it was an awesome show. I ended up finishing out the second day of the show. I got to see Alice Cooper and Baby Metal and Cypress Hill was there. And, uh... What is that? A couple other groups. Rob Zombie was there. I mean, it was a great time, but I, I seriously got fucking hurt. And so when you're in the mosh pit, guys, especially for you younger dudes, uh, just be careful of your ribs, okay? Because uh, <laughs> some motherfucker with his head down can hurt you and will hurt you. Uh, just be careful in the mosh pit, okay? All right, guys. All right. Let's take a hit from the box. I got Brittany... Uh, Lee's wonderful book, Crazy Creepy Strange, The Tales of Spring Hill, out now on Amazon, guys. So let's move this to the side, and let's move my wallet. We got much money in there. All right, we're going to take a hit from the box here. Got Scully. What's going on outside? It's like a car alarm or something. I hear it. <laughs> Elon Musk. Elon Musk. Uh, Elon Musk is a uh, very lucky motherfucker in the fact that people give him, donate tons of money to him for this kind of strange uh, scientific research into space. Uh, they give him tons of money to where he's the richest person uh, in America right now. Um, Elon, he talks about, you know, making ship, ship space rides to the moon and then setting up a casino there. Um, and you know, it's, I would say this, uh, if you ever watch Star Trek or Star Wars, you know that that shit is coming to where we need to expand out to the, to other planets. It may be coming sooner because the core of the earth in the middle has just stopped. Yeah. And if that core spins backwards, then we could talk about the top of the earth coming off. Um, so... <clears throat> Hell, right about now, 
We need fucking Elon Musk. Uh, we need him to get us to space. Uh, we may not have, you know, much longer on this planet. And it's a scary thing. Um, so Elon Musk needed, given a lot of money, controversial. He's on Twitter. Uh, he's banning people. He's not banning people. He's banning people. He's not banning people. Uh, so, <laughs> you know, uh, he, he's a weird dude, you know. Um, he, he looks like he don't give a shit <laughs> what you think about him. And, you know, that's fine. But um, just, I never bought anything from Tesla. <laughs> uh, so I'm not going to be giving money to him for his, you know, for that. But, I mean, uh, yeah, Elon Musk, uh, crazy dude. Uh, some like him, some don't. So we'll see him out there. All right, guys, that's going to be it for the show this week. Um, we're going to try to update some stuff, get some people in, work on some stuff. You know, you know what we do. So I want to thank you guys. You guys have been wonderful. And uh, stay positive and uh, stay clean. Good night.